Hi everyone, I'm going to talk about being happy, allowing yourself to enjoy life. Nature does a lot for us. And then even as I turn out to the river, and this is February, and it's a bit chilly, but I'm dressed up warm, so there is no need for an excuse not to feel happy on a cold day, to, to enjoy it, to allow ourselves to feel happy, to allow the happiness to come from all the new growth that's around us. And this is something I would love you all to think of, especially maybe when you are feeling a bit miserable. Say to yourself, no, stop. I don't have to feel miserable. I don't have to feel down in myself. When I'm out or sitting at the fire, I can allow myself to feel happy. And I can ask my guardian angel to help me. And I can even ask nature. And I know lots of nature is still sleeping, are still resting, holding on to the energy to burst forth. And imagine, just imagine yourself as a plant of something that went to sleep for a while and you're soaking up all the energy and you're getting ready to burst forth with happiness and joy. Just imagine that, that you're going to, you know, with a plant, it's leaves and flowers, but with you as a human being, it's, how would I say, excitement. It's loving yourself. It's saying, Yes, I have the right, I have the choice to love me, to be happy. So even when you're out walking in nature, allow yourself to be happy. And just enjoy it, just look around, see the forest, See the birds in the sky and say to yourself, are they allowing themselves to be happy? Are they living every moment without fear as they fly across the sky? Because that's the way you want to be. You want to be happy. You want to love you and you want to take all the joy that nature can give you to feel alive. Because some people will say, I'm not happy, I feel miserable, you know, I feel lonely, I'm down and depressed in myself. People might say, you know, I'm no good. And if you're saying all those things to yourself, you're not releasing the love within you. And you're not releasing that happiness and joy. You're not releasing that good. Look at what nature is doing. It's starting to get green. Look across there how green it is. Even the little green here, you know, on the top of the water. Everything is starting to come back to life. And you should be doing the same. You should be not locking yourself away. You should be getting outside. Whether you're going for a jog, which I'm no good at, you know, do a little one like this, or you're just going for a walk, or you're going out and you've dressed up and you're going out to 
have a nice day or a nice evening or you're meeting friends. Allow yourself to enjoy that. Allow yourself to be happy and say well done to yourself. Because so many times, even when we go out, we don't allow ourselves to be happy because we look around and we kind of find fault with things. But we're going to cross the bridge now and I will be silent because I want you to listen to the sound of the water and let that part of nature pound inside of you to release or to open the door, or to break it down for you to allow yourself to love you so you can let happiness out, that joy. So let's go. Did you hear? Did you realize that you are as powerful and your happiness is as powerful as that river? Did you hear the sound of it? Did you see the flow of the water? Or let the happiness and joy and the love of you out like that because you are entitled to be happy. And I'd have to say, maybe not every second, but you are entitled to be an awful lot more happier than you are. And it's practice. It's practice that you have to say to yourself, I've got to make the effort to allow myself to be happy, to allow myself on as many occasions as possible, to give myself the chance to be happy and not to be running myself down or feeling negative or not to be looking around and thinking everything is negative around me. I am like that river. I'm like the power of that water moving so fast. And yes, I can be happy. So just look around when you're out in nature and realize how happy that tree is, how happy, you know, everything here is as it's starting to waken. Look at the power of the tree. And even looking over here, look at this beautiful tree and all the ferns growing on it. Do you think they're miserable and sad? They're not. They are heading towards the light. They are happy. And they are loving. And they are caring. And they are gentle. And they're kind and gentle to each other. But they're kind and gentle to all nature around as well. They're playing their part. And I have another lovely tree over here. I love this tree, by the way. Um, I don't know the name of it. I keep meaning to find out the name. But this summer, 
when it has blossomed a bit more and when it lets out its love a bit more, its happiness and joy, I'm going to find out the name. I was told that there's not that many of them in the country anymore. I don't know how true that is. But one person said to me that a lot of them were cut down because they kind of look ugly looking, but I don't see any ugliness. I see only beauty. And again, that is for you to see the beauty within you because you are beautiful and you are kind and gentle and loving and you know you have the right to be as happy as much as possible. And I say every day you should be happy, you know? There might be little times during the day you might not feel so happy, maybe something happened. But then you know you can pick yourself up like this tree does and allows itself to be happy. Like what nature does, even when you look out in the grass there, you can see how much of it has been asleep and how much of it is starting to awaken again. You see the golden brown and you see the green as well. You see the cold. Even over here is even a, a bigger example because you can see it has really been sleeping. And then you see little bits of green grass coming up through the golden color of the grass that has been asleep. It's giving birth, it's giving joy, it's giving that happiness back to the atmosphere of everything that is living. So I want you to be happy. I want you to start to feel joy. Remember you have the choice. You can allow yourself to be happy as much as possible, or you can remain sad. But remaining sad is not good. Remember you have the choice and you have that free will and you're entitled to be happy. So get out there, smile and say to yourself, I am happy. That's an exercise you have to do. You know, wake up in the morning. If you have been feeling not happy for such a long time, when you wake up in the morning, you ask your guardian angel to help you to feel happy, to keep on reminding you to be happy. You know, it's like when you go out walking or when, when you're talking to someone, enjoy, be happy. When you're having a cup of tea, be happy drinking your cup of tea. You know, there's all these small trivial things that are so important in our lives because they are actually the big things and yet they're tiny. So you feeling happy, a lot of people would say is only a tiny thing within your life, but it's a big thing. So start to say to yourself, I'm going to give myself permission to be happy. So say that every morning to your guardian angel. Guardian angel, please help me to give myself permission to be happy. Keep reminding me all day so that even if it's only once or twice, I'm happy, that's a start, okay? So I will say God bless and love you. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed my videos today, like and subscribe. Don't miss my latest teachings and meditations.